हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज फॉरेस्ट इकोसिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ फॉरेस्ट बायोम्स फॉरेस्ट फायर्स इंडिया स्टेट ऑफ फॉरेस्ट रिपोर्ट एंड फॉरेस्ट कंजर्वेशन इनिशिएटिव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक फॉरेस्ट आर कॉम्प्लेक्स इको सिस्टम्स कैरेक्टराइज बाय अ सिग्निफिकेंट डेंसिटी ऑफ ट्रीज एंड अ डाइवर्स अ रे ऑफ फ्लोरा फोना एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे कैन अकर वेन एवर द टेम्परेचर राइज अब टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस इन द वार्मेस्ट मंथ एंड द एनुअल प्रेसिपिटेशन इज मोर देन टू हंड्रेड एम एम फॉरेस्ट टाइप्स कैन बी डिस्टिंग्विश फ्रॉम ईच अदर अकॉर्डिंग टू स्पीशीज कॉम्पोजिशन ट्री कवर डेंसिटी altitude of the region and type of soils found there as per global forest resource assessment 2020 the world's total forest area is 4.06 billion hectares which was 31% of the total land area more than 54% of the world's forest is present in only 5 countries the russian federation brazil canada the united states of america and china As per India State of Forest Report 2021, India accounts for 2% of the world forest area. Now let's discuss about type of forest biomes. First is tropical rainforest biome. It covers about 7% of the earth's surface and forms one of the most massive biomes. The Amazon rainforest is currently the largest tropical rainforest biome in the world. Climate Typically found near the equator these regions experience little seasonal variation in temperature daytime temperatures range from 25 degree celsius to 31 degree celsius creating a warm and humid environment the annual precipitation exceeds 2500 mm leading to a very wet and damp environment these rainforests are located on every continent other than antarctica South America hosts a substantial portion of the deciduous forest biome because of its favorable climate. Plant species in the tropical rainforest are mahogany, ebony, rubber quinquina and rosewood. And animal species found in the tropical rainforest are monkeys, snails, sloths, deer, elephants etc. Second is temperate forest biome. It is a forest biome primarily characterized by trees that shed their leaves in the autumn climate these forests experience four distinct seasons spring summer autumn and winter summers are warm with temperatures ranging from 21 degree celsius to 29 degree celsius winters can be cold with temperatures often dropping below freezing annual rainfall can range from approximately 750 to 1500 mm on average which is usually spread fairly evenly throughout the year Another name for these forests is broadleaf forest because of the wide flat leaves on the trees. They are known as deciduous forest. There are several trophic food levels making up the food web in the deciduous forest. Animals inhabiting deciduous forest include mice, rabbits, foxes and deer. Plant species include oak, maple and beech. Third is coniferous forest. They are primarily characterized by the prevalence of coniferous trees which are evergreen. and bear needle like or scale like leaves they are typically found in regions with cold subarctic to temperate climates a coniferous forest is also known as a boreal forest or taiga climate coniferous forest experience long cold winters and relatively short cool summers winters are characterized by freezing temperatures while summer temperatures can vary but are generally milder than in temperate forest The yearly precipitation is 25 to 75 cm. Coniferous forests are mostly found in regions of the earth that experience long winters and short summers. Plant species found in the forest are pines, cider and fir. Animals inhabiting these forests include lynxes, deer, moose, reindeer, mice and squirrels. Now let's discuss about forest fire. A forest fire also known as a wildfire is an uncontrolled and rapidly spreading fire that occurs in a forested or wooded area. Once a forest fire begins, it can spread quickly, especially under conditions of high temperatures, low humidity and strong winds. Forest fires are a natural component of various ecosystems and can stimulate fresh growth and eliminate dead vegetation. 
However, frequent fires may lead to adverse consequences such as habitat destruction and biodiversity loss. India has experienced numerous instances of wildfires in recent times with the recent outbreaks in Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand. As per State of Forest Report 2021, India reported 345,989 forest fires from November 2020 to June 2021, which is the highest recorded in the country for this period so far. Odisha reported highest instances of forest fires followed by Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. Now let's discuss about India State of Forest Report 2021. It is the biennial assessment of India's forest by the Forest Survey of India an organization under the Ministry of Environment Forest and Climate Change. The first survey was published in 1987. Forest surveyed under the report are classified into very dense forest canopy density over 70%, moderately dense forest 40 to 70% and open forest 10 to 40%. Scrubs canopy density less than 10% are also surveyed but not characterized as forest. The report also assesses mangrove cover, bamboo cultivation, total carbon stocks and areas prone to forest fire. Now lastly moving on to the forest conservation initiatives. First is National Afforestation Program. It is as a 100% centrally sponsored scheme of Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. The scheme will be operated by the National Afforestation and Eco Development Board. The scheme aims to restore degraded forest ecologically and enhance forest resources through community involvement, particularly by improving the livelihoods of communities living near the forest. Nagar Vun Scheme. It is an initiative of Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change launched in 2020. It aims to develop 200 urban forests across the country in the next 5 years. The scheme encourages active involvement and cooperation among the forest department, municipal bodies, NGOs, corporations and local residents. National Mission for Green India. The Green India Mission also referred to as the scheme was initiated in 2014. It is one of the eight missions outlined within the National Action Plan on Climate Change. Under the Green India Mission, there is a specific component aimed at promoting agroforestry and social forestry on farm lands. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims question. With reference to forest carbon partnership facility, which of the following statements is or are correct? One, it is global partnership of governments, businesses, civil society, and indigenous peoples. Two, it provides financial aid to research to develop eco-friendly and climate adaptation technologies for sustainable forest management. Three, it assists the countries in their R E D D plus, that is, reducing emission from deforestation. and forest degradation efforts by providing them with financial and technical assistance select the correct answer using the codes given below 1 only 2 and 3 only 1 and 3 only or 1 2 and 3 you can send the answer of this question in the comment section and now mains question for your practice effective forest conservation is critical for the long term well being of our planet discuss the various challenges and strategies associated with forest conservation in the context of sustainable development so that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching